Hi everyone. In this video for grade 8 we have chapter 4, section 4 which is about theoretical probability on page 138 on the book. In this section we have theoretical probability. It's nearly the same as the previous section which is 4.3 which was about uh, experimental probability. Normally theoretical probability and experimental probability we solve by the same way. But in real life experimental it means something by experiment with it and we talk about that one but theoretical we didn't do the experiment this is that theoretically we find the probability of happening something but for solving 4.3 and 4.4 experimental and theoretical probability would be both be solved on by the same way in the first example a and b we have in A tells you we have 100 cards in a game what's the probability to draw drawing one of the 12 is from a bag of 100 scrabble tiles we have 12 is we have some letters on the cards on these 100 cards it's a game like A B C D E 12 of them are E on the cards it tells you what the probability to draw one of these 12 E's that we have on the 100 card so the probability for this one theoretical probability because we have 12 of these E letters on these 100 cards as fraction we would write as 12 over 100 because we have 12 of them E the total is 100 cards to write as fraction in the question normally it tells you write only as fraction or write as fraction percent decimal according to the question you would give the answer in this one it asked us for all of them fraction percent decimal for the fraction always you must simplify to the simplest form simplify we can divide both of them by two divide by 2 equals 6 over 50 again both of them can be divided by 2 divide by 2 equals 3 over 25 both of them cannot be divided by 2 or both of them cannot be divided by 3 or by 5 we cannot simplify more for the other one which is about percent if you look at the first fraction that we wrote it's 12 over 100 percent it means make denominator 100 this one itself is 100 so we don't need to change anything it is just 12 percent and for decimal whenever you have the denominator is 100 we would have 0 0.2 numbers after the point here we have 12 we just write 12 two numbers two digits so that's all by decimal by percent by fraction for the other one to get a number greater than 2 in a number cube what's the, prob the probability that you'll get a number greater than 2 the numbers greater than 2 we have 3 4 5 6 we have four numbers three four five six four over total we have six numbers we can simplify divide by two divide by two equals two over three uh, no this note from now on whenever you have the denominator is three just for three one over three equals for the percent 0 0.33 and 2 over 3 only these two equals 0 0.66 these numbers goes on 0 0.3333 0 0.666 goes on but we just write two digits it's fine for 1 over 3 you can just write 0 0.33 
for 2 over 3 you can write 0 0.66 or 0 0.67 so for the percent just you have to memorize this two because 1 over 3 if you change to decimal it is just 0 0.33 for the percent it means 33 sorry it was 2 over 3 here we have 2 over 3 it means 66 or 67 percent you can use both when you round it will be 0 0.67 67 percent and for the decimal it is 0 0.66 or 67 you can just write that much for the decimal or just write 0 0.66 both of them would be counted as true, so it's your choice to use 66 or 67. There's not much different in these 2 over 3 questions. And for the example 2, we have another example asks you, we have some names of boys and girls that we have. Let's see the example 2. It's about the name of the boys and girls we have in a box or in a class choosing the probability of choosing a boy's name or a girl's name the question says there are 11 boys and 16 girls in a class mr Cowan has written the names of each student on a craft stick he randomly draws one of these sticks there are 11 boys example 2 11 boys and 16 girls in A find the theoretical probability of drawing a boy's name A what's the probability of drawing boy's name and B probability to draw a girl's name fine in these questions A and B in the class we have 11 boys and 16 girls total it would be 27 students drawing a boy's name how many boys did we have and we just want to write as fraction 11 boys over the total which is 27 and the probability to draw a girl's name we look at the girl's number which is 16 over total always over the total we have which is over 27 if you look at both of them we cannot simplify more as a fraction and we just need to write it down as fraction so that's all that we can do that's the theoretical probability to get a girl's name a boy's name in the class and this one is the probability to draw a girl's name which is 16 over 27 that's how to, to solve any question about theoretical probability that we have in the book of grade 8. Thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day.